Right, hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another video review from Air Rifles UK. Today I'm going to be doing a, re a review of the Webley Mark VI CO2 powered pellet pistol, which is this one. Um, and this one here is the BB version that they also do. I've just got it in the video just for demonstration purposes as well. Um, as you can see, they both look exactly the same with the give and take of the colouring and the actual type that it is, but they are both exactly the same to look at and to feel. So, cracking on with the review then. Uh, this is the exhibition finish and it's um, produced by Highland Outdoors. Um, there's a few different variants that it comes in. As I say, you've got the black one and you've also got the battlefield finish. Um, you can also get a BB version, like I've said, which is this particular one here. But I'd like to always showcase the pellet version, as this is for the channel, the Facebook group for Air Rifles UK. So we're dealing with the Air Rifle version, or the pellet version, shall I say. Um, the pistol is an all metal cast, with the exception of the plastic hand grips, which is these here, obviously. And you, I don't know if you can hear that, but they do rattle about a bit. This one. A light tap it will make a noise which I think is a bit naff when you look at the pistol but that's my personal opinion um, it's based off the original blueprints and has the original 1915s markings so with the exception of that there it's the only warning sign on the gun and the fact that it says that it's a 177 cal uh, pellet or 4.5 millimeter BBs um, this version is the nickel plated exhibition finish and it retails for £240, this particular one, and the um, BB version retails for 150 So for the CO2 BB it's 150 you can see that. And for the pellet one it's 240 so it's a bit of a difference just because of the pellet but it's up to you which one you get um, it comes with a one year warranty but you need to register the pistol in order for that to, to kick in and so inside the box you can see this is the box you get uh, a user manual and you also get a small arms training pamphlet which on the inside it gives you a bit of information on how to correctly use the pistol and kind of mocks what a soldier would have received with the pistol should he have been in the war which I think is quite quirky really it's, it's quite cool and so you get a warranty but it also needs it needs to be activated in order for it to kick in so if I can just show you that okay so that's the box um, the pistol can be field stripped by removing the bottommost screw furthest away from the trigger and then rotating the cylinder cam. So, I believe it to be this one here. If you remove that screw, you can then strip the pistol down. But I'm not going to do it in a video, I'm just informing you that it can be done. Because this pistol is going to belong to somebody when they buy it new, so I'll keep all that for them to do. Um, but should you wish to know how to do it, as I say, you have to remove that screw furthest away from the trigger and then by rotating the cylinder cam lever anti-clockwise when the barrel is opened, the cylinder cam can then be rotated clockwise and the cylinder can be removed from the frame and you resemble it by doing it in reverse order. That's basically just what it says on the box on how to do that. As I said, I'm not going to show you, but I'm informing you that it can be done. Um, so just going through some facts and features about the pistol. Get this into shot a bit better. Um, it's a six inch rifle barrel, um, it's single and double action, so you can operate it in single mode or you can have it in double. I'll show you that from the side. And I can assure you that feels incredibly smooth. And it only goes round when you actually apply that final bit of pressure. It's a really smooth action. Just like to point out that that's where the safety is. So when you can see red, obviously the target's dead, as they say. Um, take safety off. It's got to retract that back. And then 
and I think will action or um, function, shall I say, the hammer won't go back or anything like that. It's quite a stiff catch, so you, you know that you've operated it by, by doing so. Just to show you the sound, if you can remember. They both sound exactly the same and look the same. Um, yeah, so it has a six shot sh uh, shell magazine. If you look, on the, um, the pellet version, the pellets have to be loaded into these shells from the back. You can see the 177 pellet goes in there. And on the CO2 BB version, the pellet, or the BB should I say, need to be placed into the front. And I think that's about the only difference between the two, apart from the fact that one fires BBs and one fires pellets. So just another little bit of information there. Um, as I say, it's field, field strippable and it runs on CO2 12 gram capsules and it has a lanyard swivel with a built in CO2 retainer. So this here is, is a lanyard and at the same time it's what you use to fix the CO2 in and out of the, the grip. And there's usually a groove on the bottom that you'll get your thumb into or a finger like so and just pop it off. And as you can see in there, all well, that housing is, is metal, it's not plastic, and the lanyard acts as a uh, CO2 retainer or to, to apply pressure to fix it in. And to put it back, I think you need to fit that in first. This is always a careful thing with these pistol grips because it can snap the tabs on the plastic. But as you can see, it just clips on, which is the reason that it sounds like that. So just something to be aware of when, when owning this pistol or buying one. Um, it has a non-adjustable front and rear sights, I'm afraid. So they're not adjustable, that or that, it's fixed. And um, both cows are in 177 or 4.5 if you prefer. Uh, speaking about this one in particular now, the, the pellet version, the muzzle velocity stated on the box and the Webley website says that it's 320 feet per second. Um, the muzzle energy is 2.1 foot pounds, or if you prefer, 3 joules. Sorry, I've just been rocking that table. Sorry, fellas, or viewers, should I say. Um, the pistol weight is 2.4 pounds, or 1.1 kilograms. And this overall length from the back to the front is 286 millimetres, or 11.5, 25 inches. So just shy of 12 inches. Um, just telling you from my personal perspective of the pros and cons of the pistol, uh, starting with the pros, it's an ac accurate replica in weight, size and looks. So when you pick up the gun and feel it, you know from the manufacturer's information that it feels exactly the same as the real Mark for Earth 6 would, or the Webley, shall I say. Um, Next pro is that it's a fully licensed product with authentic markings. So if you look at the pistol, it's got a tidy 455 there that you can only just about make out, which is quite nice. Just give you a bit of a look, better look at it, should I say. And that there is how the real one would look. So going across the whole of the gun, if it wasn't to the trained eye, you'd say it was the real thing, with the exception of this indication here. Just wait for the camera to focus. If it does, do apologise. What that actually says, if the camera's playing silly buggers, is 177 cal in close brackets 4.5 millimeter. So it just that indication there tells you that it's obviously for an airsoft or a, a, a pellet gun. Other than that, there isn't any indication. And that's on the particular um, field, sorry, on the uh, exhibition version. And um, this is the all black one, and the only telltale sign that it is indeed an air gun of any kind is that there, the Energy Max 3 Jules. But obviously, that's a sticker that you can whip off with the greatest of ease, and I'm sure the person who owns this pistol will be doing so straight away because I know I sure as I wouldn't keep that there. Um, and yeah, just to finish off with the pros, 
the hammer action on these pistols is absolutely awesome on single and on double action. So there's your double action, and here's your single, and it feels absolutely superb, I have to say. Uh, sadly, two, co two sides to every coin, unfortunately, there is a, a few cons um, straight out of the box. The biggest con, in my opinion, is for this particular version, it's 240 quid. So, first con is extremely expensive. Um, I think a lot of people would probably be deterred from buying this pistol purely just because of the price. Um, I think the only reason you'd, ex you'd want to spend that much money on a pistol, that much money, if this kind of pistol is purely for a collector's purpose. So... I do think it's a tad expensive if you wanted the pellet version this is the BB and it's only 150 again that's still quite expensive but it's a lot more attractive price than this version and I can't tell you this because I can't shoot the pistol because they're brand new so they have to remain as so but from what I've seen on reviews it has a really loud muzzle report so it's when it shoots it's quite loud which I would consider a con as well because if you wanted to use this gun, you'd have to be in the middle of nowhere before you got away from irritating anybody, which is always unfortunate when in the air rifle world. And um, the last con, in my opinion, which I've already mentioned, is the plastic grips. They really do let the pistols look and feel down. If, if you pick it up, you expect it to be solid, and it is, but then you get that horrible rattle. That's just absolutely pants in my opinion, that really would get on my nerves. Um, so again, that's a con that I'm, I'm afraid I've had to list. Um, just giving you another little quick look over the pistol because I'm going to leave it there. I've pretty much told you everything I can about the pistol to the best of my knowledge. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And if you haven't already, check us out on Facebook. The name of the group is Air Rifles UK, same as my YouTube channel. Um, We've got just shy of 20,000 members there at the minute and they're a great bunch of lads always there to help. And I'd just like to say a big shout out to Paul the Trigger for lending me these guns as always. You guys are a great help and yeah. So thanks very much for watching guys. Please like and subscribe.